Chief, just for our editors back in the station, full name and spell it to the back in John Hagee, J O N H E G G I E, Cal Fire Battalion Chief. So, can you just take us what we're looking at back here and uh, the speed with which you guys were able to knock this thing down? You know, this is a, was a fast moving vegetation fire that was reported by actually one of our fire stations. So, we had resources on scene in a very short period of time. We were able to take quick action and really stop this fire before it potentially impacted a lot of large number of communities. Any idea how this thing started? It is pretty rural out here. It is very rural. Our investigation teams are out here right now actively seeking that uh, information, but right now it's under investigation. Hopscotch all over the county in heat like this. What is your number one resource to get these things before they start running? You know, all of our resources are very important. The air, the ground resources are critical right now, especially with the hot and dry temperatures. Fire potential is extremely high today, so really what we're asking for people to do is be careful, use caution when they're outside, and really pay attention to what they're doing, because any spark right now will start a fire. Landscape for the future, are we gonna see, it's getting hotter and hotter, temperatures in the water are 80 degrees right now. Are you guys back against the wall? What kind of resources do you need to continue to protect all these folks? You know, resources are always at a premium during the summertime. Good thing right now, San Diego, we're fairly well protected with what we have in, in the county. Thinking about both air and ground resources from CAL FIRE and the U.S. Forest Service. It is a joint uh, effort and really takes a community of fire fighting to put out these fires. Fantastic. And the air, what, what, what was used in this? this we drop. used both fixed wing uh, air tankers and helicopters. Some of the two of the county helicopters were utilized in this incident and the California uh, or Cal Fire uh, air tankers. If this thing festered a little while longer, what would we be looking at? You know, any fire that starts at, in the middle of August, middle of July, really any fire in the summertime has the potential for getting up and growing at an exponential rate. What we've seen up and down the state is all the fires are growing and that's a direct relationship to the dry fuels. San Diego is no different to that. We got very fortunate and with some aggressive firefighting there. Any injuries to firefighters? We have had no injuries on this incident today. And no. nothing threatened? Nothing threatened. No evacuations? No evacuations right now. Now, with these high temperatures, what are you folks doing to keep the firefighters safe and hydrated? So what we're doing in these high temperatures, it's a hot day. What we're trying to ensure is that all resources are taking their time, they're hydrating, they're drinking their foods, they're taking their small breaks. The reality is the fire zone doesn't give us a lot of opportunities, so we're going to ensure that we're providing for public safety first, and then we'll take our breaks when we can. Fantastic. Thank Anything you. Like that. Okay, you're going to be the one. Yeah? Like, no, I don't give you a big story. Big story's going to be up a jillion.